Hold up. Let him Alright, I've been using Adrena in PvP for quite a bit now. And she's actually not that bad. And uh, yeah, this is the team that I've been running. Adrena go crazy. And as you can see, I have Catherine right here. Um, depending on what the enemy is running, I either run Catherine or I run Abigail in that spot. If there is another 6 Sally, I would probably go with uh, Abigail instead of uh, Catherine. But let's see. This team that we're going up against is completely insane when it comes to controlling. Well, well the, the team that I'm running can counter Nusi pretty well in a tank team. But against like this type of teams, it's very difficult to, to work because there's too much uh, AP control in this team. C is S3 and S2. No, actually all three of her skills um, AP control. And then Ethan's Panic Gaze buff is going to eat up at my HP very significantly. Um, and then they have Clara for the healing. If there is no healing, then this team would be uh, pretty easy to beat. But since there is a healing, it's going to be pretty difficult. Um, and then Nusi is also very good here. Her S1 does crazy AP controls, AoE, minus 20% AP. And then Hilda is just going to apply like a bunch of poisons on me. And it's probably going to be the end of it. Um, I'm going to give it a try against this team. It's probably not going to work. If this doesn't work, then I'm going to switch out uh, Catherine for height. Then we might be able to do it. Uh, yeah, it's not going to work because there's too much AP control. And the poison stacks, they add up very quickly. Yeah, I forgot to show you the runes on her. I gave her a decent amount of crit rate and then I put on, on her the um, stun set with a lot of HP and no speed at all crit damage HP HP um, ideally you want this speed to be at zero and add more HP and crit rate to her so that she can do a lot more damage right um, let's see the reason why I bring Catherine and not like uh, another DPS or another support is because my, R my Junior Yao is not R6 so she cannot spam her S3. Um, it, it's very important that you need um, all of your units to not be stunned. Otherwise, it would be kind of pointless to bring Adrena because Adrena, she really relies on your allies taking a turn. And it's not just from uh, counter attacks, right? It's because counter attacks alone, they cannot proc her uh, assist attacks. So let's see, this one we might be able to win. No, I still can't win because Hyde is R0. Yeah, even though we did 200,000 on height, he's still R0, he gets soloed by uh, by Clara. But yeah, this team is very good against like tank teams that does not have any genie. Against Cleave team is very weak because it's a very slow roll team um, which does not have any defensive um, mechanics. I don't have a Cecilia right here to you know revive me and the burst uh, damage in this team is pretty much non-existent. So you're gonna go for like uh, teams that are either full control or this type of team we might be able to do it but there is an R6 Sally and a Nusi so this one might be a bit, a bit difficult but I'm just gonna give it a try again if there is an uh, R6 Sally I would bring Abigail but since there is a um, Nusi right here I think I have to go with Hyde instead and just rely on Jin Yu Yao to cleanse all of my stuns. Yeah, we still lost because of R6 Sally. Yeah, she didn't do any damage because we couldn't, we couldn't get any turn in. Because of Nusi, we couldn't get any turns in. Against this type of teams, it's pretty much guaranteed to win if I bring uh, an Abigail. Because this type of teams, there's no not enough uh, control. And also, there's uh, not enough damage to one-shot one of my units. So, if I bring an Abigail, I can revive whoever dies and the shield as well is not going to deplete over time as you can see it's, uh, it's almost a hundred percent win win rate against this type of tank teams except for when there is a genie in the team because genie will just one shot uh, one of my units every time she moves and as you can see 300,000 on Adrena it's pretty good but it's obviously not going to be an auto uh, on manual because this team takes forever to win but it does win and it's pretty con pretty consistent against um, this type of tank teams with like the height, Cecilia, Jin Yu Yao and stuff. She's pretty good, she's gonna apply the stuns like pretty consistently. If you're going up against uh, R6 Jin Yu Yao, 
then the stuns are gonna go back and forth. For the most part, it's gonna be fine because you have your own Jin Yu Yao. So whenever she throws the stun back at you, then you can throw it back at her. Abigail is just a, a safe choice over here because of the shields she provides and also revives. Yeah, her damage is not really that much, but it's it adds up very fast, especially when uh, the enemies don't have any HP balancing unit like Sally, or if there is no um, controls in their team. If there is a Nusi, then I would bring um, Catherine instead of uh, instead of Abigail. Um, because Nusi just counters Abigail like very significantly because whenever Abigail applies the buffs and Nusi strips all of the buffs, she will instantly get another turn because the, the amount of buffs that um, Abigail provides is like 2. So whenever Nusi strips like at least 2, she gains like 50% um, AP. So yeah. The main DPS in this team is going to be Adrena, not Everett. Everett is Everett is more so for single target damage and Adrena is more so for the uh, AoE damage. As you can see the, the HP ceiling decrease is coming in quite clutch whenever uh, when the match goes on for quite a bit because it's a tank team versus a tank team. Yeah, it's a very slow team but it does work against like this type of tank teams. Let me try to find another tank team. Alright, let's try against this team. It's probably not gonna work because there is a Xuan Pin. I cannot tank a Xuan Pin. Um, and also there is an R6 uh, Sun Wukong. Um, Sun Wukong is gonna do insane damage to my Ahmed, Everett and also my her. Because he does not have type disadvantage. But it's, yeah, it's probably gonna lose. Oh, we won. Nice. Um, Adrena didn't do much. It was mostly just Everett and Jin Yu Yao. But I think she did her job and if you don't know Xuan Pin, her buff that she provides from her S3 um, only works if that unit has um, type neutral or type disadvantage or type advantage. So it's not going to work if that unit does not have type advantage or type neutral. So the Tang Xuan just dropped <laughs> because of my Jin Yu Yao. My Jin Yu Yao is now R5 so she does insane damage. Um, with her S3, uh, no, uh, with her R4 and the additional stats that she gets from R3 and R5, she just does insane damage um, because of the HP sacrifice that she does, right? Jin Yu Yao is nothing to, to scoff at. She is a damage dealer in disguise because of that, because of the resonance 4. And yeah, she's just crazy. So yeah, if the enemy does not have any burst skill, Sun Wukong was not enough to burst me down, which is why we won that one. Um, this one we're gonna lose 100% because of Tevers. Tevers is going to one-shot one of my units every time he moves, so it's not gonna work. Um, since there is a Nusi, I would have to bring in Catherine because if that Nusi is on a uh, Tyranny set, I might, get, uh, I might be fucked because he could perpetually stun all of my units and Adrena is just not going to work. So I would have to bring in Catherine so that she cleanses, right? On her passive, she cleanses uh, every uh, every turn that she takes, she cleanses one debuff. Because of Sally, the HP... Um, what's it called? Oh, we won. Okay, yeah. Um, the HP... Uh, ooh, look at that. 200,000, just about as much as Everett. Uh, the HP rebalancing is pretty huge against this team because uh, this team can only... You know, it can only... Um, whittle down the enemies like very slowly because Adrena, you know, she doesn't really do much damage but because of the uh, amount of assist that she does it actually adds up quite uh, a bit in the long run so yeah, this is why I have to bring in Catherine otherwise my units will perpetually get stunned uh, my Jin Yu Yao is not R6 therefore she cannot cleanse the stuns ooh, look at that, we got a 4 man stun <laughs> but it didn't matter though because uh, Sally still has the um Sweet Harvest. Um, but yeah, the reason why I have to bring in Catherine. There we go, we cleanse that stun. Um, she's actually pretty good. Because she cleansed all debuffs, all types of debuffs. Um, it's not just non-incapacitation debuffs. Whereas Jin Yu Yao can only cleanse non-incapacitation uh, debuffs, right? So Jin Yu Yao, if she's not at R6, she's not really a counter to Nusi. Because 
Lucy can just cooldown increase her for two turns, and then you need to either proc uh, uh, Astral proc on the second turn, or you know take as many turns as possible, which is very hard to do because Lucy um, her AP controls on her S1 as well. And if there is a TA, T will just hard focus on Jin Yu Yao. Jin Yu Yao just can't get a turn in. So, which is why Catherine is uh, pretty important against a Nusi. Just for the fact that she can cleanse um, stuns. She can always cleanse the stun whenever she takes the turn. And, uh, as long as there's no multiple debuffs on your ally, she can just pretty much cleanse it. And the way I've built my Catherine is just pure speed. I don't think going with uh, Astral is going to do much um, because if she's not fast enough, she doesn't take a turn, she doesn't cleanse. Um, she needs to be fast in order to do you know all of that, right? Okay, yeah, well, this is gonna take like forever, so we already know we won this one. But Adrena did her, did her job. Um, Ahmed didn't really do much, he got like controlled to death. But yeah, her damage was not really that bad. It was, almost as much as Everett. We might win against this one. There's no healer in the team and the burst unit is Ashley, which means Ashley is not going to do much against uh, my Adrena. And actually, I think I might be able to get away with another um, Inferno unit just to make sure that I don't die. He will focus on Abigail and then uh, Ashley is not going to do additional damage on Abigail from Shrenpin's buff. So we might be able to do this. Yeah, see, um, if there is no uh, turn 1 burst, like good enough turn 1 burst, then this team can pretty much win. 68,000, same as Jin Yu Yao, Jin Yu Yao is kind of crazy. The reason why I bring Abigail right here instead of uh, the other one, Catherine, because the enemy does not have enough stuns, so it's really pointless to bring in Catherine. It's actually pretty good to bring Catherine in because of Ethan. Ethan is pretty scary when it comes to the Panic Gaze buff because it just does uh, insane damage when you don't cleanse it off. Catherine could also cleanse off the Panic Gaze. My Jin Yu Yao just dies, holy shit. No, never mind. My uh, Ahmed came in clutch. He's out of DPS, so at this point, it's basically GG. My Jin Yu Yao cannot get stunned, she cannot be controlled. She can only be AP controlled, but as long as my Adrena is not like stunned or whatever, any movement that my Jin Yu Yao does, except for her S3, she's a... Uh, Adrena is just going to follow up, right? It's uh, very good against like control teams that does not have enough burst. Okay, against this team, we're, we're just gonna lose because there is a Gaius, there is an R6 Sally. Gaius is strong enough of, of a burst that this team just cannot uh, hold out against Gaius. It's just going to die pretty much on uh, the second time Gaius uh, nukes. But we'll just give it a try. We might be able to win this if I bring a hide. We might be able to do it because there is not enough uh, controls. I don't really need to bring, um, what's it called? Maybe I don't need a bring hide. I can just bring a Meredith. It could also work, I think. But since there is an R6 Sally, we might not be able to do it. Uh, let's see here. Okay, we still won. Not bad. Let's take a look at the damage. There's two Flow Espers and she did the most damage. That's crazy. If there is a defense break on his team, we might be uh, in a bit of trouble. But since there isn't a defense break, we could just face tank the guy's nuke and also he, he doesn't really have a attack buff except for Sally which is not really that consistent because um, she will use her S3 first right yeah she uses her S3 first before she starts using her S2 which means the guy's nuke is not going to line up with the attack buff yeah if you're not going up against Jin Yu Yao Adrena just pops off like crazy because um, she has a chance to stun whenever she performs the pursuit on the AoE and also if you if you put her on a uh, tyranny set she just you know pops off like crazy with the amount of stuns that she provides as you can see I pretty much like four men stun the entire team just now and they can't, couldn't really do much and uh, we finished the match off with 100% HP because she kept stunning the Everett and Everett can't really do anything when he's stunned we got double stun again, <laughs> kind of crazy. The only one that's low on HP is Jin Yu Yao, but that's just from the fact that her R4 sacrifices her HP. The rest is just on full HP, which which is kind of crazy. I think this is probably not gonna work, even though there's no healer. 
Chang Ji can just you know HP swap and then kill someone off. Oh, we still won. Let's go. What the hell? Uh, not bad. 71,000, 85,000 from Everett, and then 53,000. I think we managed to kill off the um, CJ before he does his second nuke. Because his first nuke is not going to do anything, right? Um, if there's no defense buff or defense break. Let me see. Yeah, we we even cleanse the defense break. So Changji is not going to really do anything. Yeah, he didn't do anything. Single height left is not going to really do anything. Not bad. I didn't expect to win that one. But we managed to kill off the CJ before he does his second nuke. Which means he cannot swap the HP, right? It's going to be rough on my uh, Jin Yu Yao and also my Catherine from all the uh, all the cl cleansing because of Tricky. Tricky will just uh, HP cut me but since he's running a speed lead we might not be able to uh, we might not be in that much trouble. Yeah we still lost because we can't really do much against this type of teams especially since he's bringing his own Adrena. I probably got like a uh, hard CC right there and also you know from all of the cleansing uh, that she does um, Tricky is just going to HP cut him, uh, HP cut her, and she's basically you know pretty much dead. We might be able to win against this one. Um, let's see, here. maybe not, but we'll just give it a try. Let's see. I don't think we're gonna win though. Yeah, yeah. Adrena did nothing. She got defense broken and then got one shotted by uh, what's it called, CJ. Yeah, we can't really cleanse all of that. Yeah, she got defense broken, and I think she's pretty much dead right here. Yeah, pretty much. Jin Yao, if she's not at R6, she she doesn't really counter um, what's it called Hilda that much because all of even though my um, allies are sleeping, she doesn't get cooldown increase. And every time that she takes a turn, the HP, uh, the poison is just going to eat, eat up at her HP, and you know basically killing her, her herself. Uh, this one is not gonna work because there's too many debuffs for me to cleanse. Uh, Catherine and Jin Yu Yao alone cannot cleanse uh, that amount of debuffs. Against this type of tank teams, we pretty much guaranteed win. If I bring an Abigail, there's not enough stuns on the enemy team. My Jin Yu Yao alone can uh, cleanse the stuns with her S3. And then, you know, if the fight drags on for too long, Abigail can just put up the shield and then revive someone, right? There we go. It's very slow, but it does work. 300,000 more damage than Everett. Okay, so we found an R6, uh, what's it called, Yamato. I think we still should be fine. I can just bring off, uh, bring this team. I don't even remember what Yamato does. I think he does like S2 strips, right? Strips with like a very low chance. And S3 buffs and S S1 stuns. So I think I can just bring this team. I think I should be fine right here. Um, I have two Inferno types, yeah. Two Inferno types and Yamato isn't really going to do much against me. 350k, let's go. Okay, so yeah. Yamato, oh yeah, I forgot. Yamato put the buff block, but it doesn't really matter because Jin Yao can cleanse off the buff block. My Ahmed is getting perma stun by Yamato. Yeah, when you're using this team, height isn't really a problem because Ahmed can cleanse off the HP ceiling decrease and Adrena can deal with height pretty well because he's a uh, wind and she's infernal. She has type advantage and with Abigail and the team, even though Ahmed dies right here, she can just cleanse off, uh, revive him and put up the shield, right? Look at that, we got another three-man stun. If there wasn't a Jin Yu Yao in this team, um, then we could just perma-stun them forever. Because, you know, the amount of stuns that Adrena does is pretty crazy. Uh, her pursuit has a chance to stun and then when you put uh, tyranny set on her, she has an additional 20% chance to stun as well. The defense break does help uh, a bit sometimes because you know Everett can deal significant amount of damage on um, enemies with defense broken. It does help sometimes even though it's one turn of defense break, it does come in quite clutch whenever you know it, uh, you line up the turns pretty well. Like for example, if Adrena does the defense break on Ahmed and then right after your Everett takes a turn, he does his S3, um, Everett is just going to nuke down Ahmed pretty well. Yeah, when it comes to tank v tanks uh, with no controls, Abigail just goes crazy because her shield is crazy, she has a revive with 100% AP and 
if you put her on ocean waves you can just spam the revive and shield and you basically become immortal unless the enemy has like a strong nuke to nuke down one of your uh, allies but if there's not a strong enough nuke like uh, if they're only running Everett or Hyde then it's not going to be enough damage to uh, burn down the shield that she provides but yeah that's the team let me just show you my runes real quick that's my Abigail she's on HP, HP speed um, as much HP as possible and speed as well Adrena is on the Tyranny, Tyranny set, crit damage, HP and HP some accuracy will be nice but you wouldn't want to focus too much on accuracy um, crit rate get it as get it as high as possible crit damage as well high as possible and HP speed uh, zero would be ideal and yeah and then that's my Ahmed he's on Panacea set Everett is on wind set 100% um, crit rate and a bunch of crit damage and HP as well and that's my Junior Yao she slightly slower but I gave her more HP to tank um, speed cleave teams better and I also gave her some accuracy as well and that's my Catherine she has stack as much HP as possible she doesn't need uh, accuracy resist would be kind of nice to resist some of the um, AP down but not needed as well as much speed as possible and as much defense as possible if you can get like HP speed defense substats uh, that would be perfect for her um, because she just needs to survive she doesn't really need to do anything she did. She needs to survive and spam the S1, and that's about it. Uh, ciao.